state of the nation. The tale of number nine, potentially putting us back a few decades as a nation, happened just a year ago during days like today. I'm of course referring to the um, April 9th, May 9th, June 9th and July 9th Tamasha that Sri Lanka had to witness. May 9th in particular saw the fundamental degradation of the little civility that I assume people in our country had. The so-called keyboard heroes who got agitated that I call their golf is uh, gathering a beach party managed to showcase their real intentions on this particular day. A parliamentarian was killed, the homes of public representatives torched, and complete chaos was allowed to rule this country. A sight that many of us wished uh, we would never have to see again after the battle against the ruthless terrorists, the LTTE. And the best joke is a joke called Julie Chung, the hero of the Colombo liberal idiot class, calling them peaceful protesters. But here we are now a year after that uh, complete debacle, looking for answers and above all accountability. Accountability from the people, politicians and ambassadors who feel the people's aggression for their own needs. Without that accountability, we will most certainly fall for these tricks in the near future once again. Because if you and I are silent as a mob surrounds and illegally enters the president's palace, tortures people's houses and robs public property, then we indirectly endorses these rogue acts. Let's get some perspective on this. Joining me now is the General Secretary of the Patriotic National Movement, Dr. Wasant Bandara. Doctor, thank you very much for being here. Now, recently we passed one year on May 9th, the day of the attack on democracy, where specific individuals pumped up by geopolitical interests took control of the situation stemming from uh, Sri Lanka's economic hardships. Now today, there is no move by any party, any government, or any, either the opposition or any NGO for that matter, who are screaming about the importance of upholding democracy towards accountability for this crime. But if you look at uh, doctor, um, like countries like America, where similar incidents occurred, such as uh, on January 6th capital attack, due process and a precise step-by-step -step exercise towards accountability took place, and the perpetrators were put in uh, jail. Is Sri Lanka, doctor, so weak that we are unable to hold the perpetrators accountable? Yes, Mahesh. Yeah, as you said, obviously. There is reluctance in the mind of the minds of the present rulers to order an investigation into the incidents that took place from, especially from uh, March to July last year, to find out what really happened behind this so-called Aragale. That is because they are reluctant because if the truth is revealed, that will undermine their own existence, very existence in power. Because this Aragalaya, uh, after the Aragalaya only, uh, these present rulers could come to power. The, the president who was elected by the people were ousted and uh, their, the person of their choice was brought into power a person who was uh, outrightly, totally rejected by people in the previous election. So that is what, what that is what is the ultimate result of this so-called Aragale. So obviously, those who came to power through this Aragale is reluctant to investigate into what really happened. And who is behind this? Who are the masterminds? Because that will undermine their own existence. When it is exposed to the people, uh, their uh, uh, existence in the power will be undermined. Absolutely. Uh, doctor, uh, when foreign national ambassadors are in a particular country, they are expected to follow protocols regarding the sovereignty of that nation that they are being hosted. But in Sri Lanka, we saw the current U.S. ambassador completely violating that and meddling in Sri Lankan affairs. Are we so afraid of the United States doctor that we cannot take any action against this ridiculous ambassador who thinks Sri Lanka is a footstool, but she can step on as and when she pleases? Yeah, it, 
Mahit say it is true. Now, you see this uh, ambassador is violating all the international conventions and she is meddling with internal affairs. And uh, during the Aragale time, especially from the period from last year, March to July, and uh, with uh, Twitter messages, she was addressing the people, she was addressing the nation, and she was supporting the Aragalia, and she was creating psychological barriers. And all that is a no more secret because of the, uh, the re revelations of uh, Mr. Vimal Veeravans, the Honorable Parliamentarian, uh, by his book, Ninth, The Hidden Story. Now, there is plenty of, uh, there is enough substantial evidence to prove her involvement in this uh, affair, which is uh, 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 against the international uh, protocols, conventions. Still, the government is unable to take any action or any uh, or investigate into the matter because she acts like viceroy. She is the one who dictate now to the government to get the IMF loan, her approval is necessary. So the government thinks if they uh, do anything to uh, upset her, the government would collapse. So that is why they are tolerating all sort of uh, undiplomatic uh, meddling by Julie Chang. Absolutely. Uh, doctor, finally, um, the current political parties in parliament have failed the people. Even now, they still need to learn a lesson. They, it doesn't look like as if they are, have learned a lesson. They continue to engage in the old ways and neglect the people. Doctor, is it time for a new political culture in Sri Lanka? And if so, in your opinion, what should it look like? Yes, Mahesh, you are right. Now, people are fed up with this current political system and the politicians. They, are how, they have miserably failed in their duty towards the country and the, and the people. Even at this uh, disaster situation, they, they don't come out with answers. They always complain. Complaining is done by the people. Innocent people, they, they know only to complain. But the politicians are leaders. They are there to we have given our mandate to them to offer solutions, to come out with solutions and to pressurize the government to implement them. But nothing is done. Day by day the situation is getting worse. So now it is proved beyond any doubt that this system cannot go on and this, this people and this political culture cannot overcome this uh, uh, situation, this disaster situation. Because of that, I think we need, as you said, a new political movement with a new political culture. So that is, uh, uh, if, if, if at the present level, you know there is a, a phenomenon called uh, disaster imperialism, where pe when people are uh, pressurized with these problems, psychologically and physically, they are politically, they become very uh, dormant. So to make them active, we need a new political movement with a new political culture. Then only the people will be politically active and then we can uh, create a new force uh, that can solve this uh, problems that can, who can offer the solutions to the problem. Indeed, uh, Dr. We are short of time. Uh, thank you. That was the General Secretary of the Patriotic National Movement, Dr. Vasanta Bandara. A short break now. This is the State of the Nation. Back in a moment.